everybody. G Boogie from G Boogie America. Everybody asks, uh, well, lately been asking, like, uh, uh, why you guys don't make videos anymore? And I'm like, um, I mean, uh, well, well, mostly they're like, are you still in business? We're, we're always, we've always, we've never went out of business. It's just we stopped making videos because there's this new thing on the internet now where, like, people, like, if you, if you give somebody some good information, they just, they just end up stealing it. So it's like, uh, you post a good video, it's on five different websites the next day. So it's like, I mean, I understand their use and all that, but nah. You know, like, I don't, it's just not cool to me. So I don't care. Like, I'll give you a good example. My nephew brought somebody over here. Um, but now we just help. We just do the, mostly the, the CPN thing. Because yeah, a lot of people who had third, fourth, five chances, fixed their credit, fucked it up. Well, I can't, I can't curse me. But so now, now we just... Now people just change their whole identity and, you know, and do whatever it is they're going to do. So we work behind the scenes with people. Um, and emails. The emails never stop. Get, what, 4,000 emails a day. So, like, my, my nephew brought somebody over to help them. They needed some advice for what they had going on. All right. The chick said, well, um, she broke out some material that she purchased online from somewhere. And, yo, lo and behold... All of it was my information. It was my whole, me and my team's info. I'm all like, yo, where did you get, where did you get this from? So it's like, all right, okay, I see what's going on. So, so it's kind of like, it make you want to stall people out. You're like, nah, nah, I ain't, I ain't about like, for what? Like, but at the same time, you want to help people. So, you know, if it's really about the help, it doesn't really matter. We don't really have to make the, uh, the videos online. We address help the people behind the scenes do what we do behind the scenes. So, so I just wanted to make that video because when New Year's came in, uh, somebody asked me to make a video because they have friends and stuff like that explaining. I mean, a lot of y'all out there, y'all got off like when I hooked up, hooked y'all up, the, the PPP. A lot of y'all out there, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of y'all out there is eating pretty good right now. So shout out to y'all. So that's what's up. But um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, we still in business credit. We still in personal credit. We still doing the, 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 the I don't know. I, I again, see me not being on here for a while. I got to remember what I can and can't say. So, um, let me think. Way to put it. Um, yeah, put it like this. Everything that we was, we was into before, we're still into now. So it's, it's all still the same thing. So. We just, it's just email, gboogamerica at yahoo.com. Um, and then I kind of get, you know, I kind of get tired of making videos, man. Like, we, we buy real estate, um, we sell cars, we have a couple car lots, we have a furniture store. So it's like, you know, we have a school. So it's like, it's, it's, it's like it, it's, it's a restaurant, a chicken spot. Sometimes, you know, your time is best. Or well, my time, anyway, is best spent in those areas. You know what I mean? So, we travel a lot, check on property a lot, uh, go to eviction court a lot to kick people out of our property. Uh, we got a lot of land that we're developing, have to clear off, have to chop down trees, have to set them on fire. You know, when you put them in a pile, you have to burn them all, level off, grade off the land, like all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's really what it is, so... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of something alternative, like, to make videos about because, I don't know, like, I, I had in my mind, like, like, to just do, like, some stories, you know what I mean? Like, um, some hypotheticals, like, you know, like, like, hypothetical stories. So I was going to do some hypothetical stories, like, um, come on, get a nice 20 minute video, and and just give you a story that you can understand and read between the lines. You know what I'm saying? Like you can read between the lines. So, um, so that's what I'm thinking about. You know, when I have some downtime, I'll sit and tell you about a guy named Joe that needed a loan or had bad credit or blah blah blah. And this is what this this is what Joe did. Joe went and and, and took these steps and did this and did that. 
And that's how he got on. You know what I'm saying? So that way it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like uh, YouTube got new policies and all that. So I'm not trying to get banned off anything. Just, just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's really hard to put this in words. It's like, uh, we've been doing this for 15, 16 years online, doing it when YouTube first started. Um, I don't know. Like, just talking about business credit and different ways to get a work around the system. Then the Bradstreet experience, because people say I say it wrong, because uh, my accent, uh, TransUnion and Equifax. So, I mean, who needs, who cares about what the next, you know, loophole card is? If your, if your credit is trash, it doesn't even matter. So, we, we try to go beyond that. Like, yo, what's the new, uh, people hitting? Like, what's the new, uh, what's the new info on this or that? Nah, the, the, the personal credit info is still the same. You still fix your personal credit the same way you used to fix it. Nothing has changed. Like, you, you can, you can write letters. You can, you can get rid of negatives. You can get rid of, uh, um, the harder inquiries and all that. You know what I mean? You go get a secure card. You use it. Keep your, keep your percentages at a certain level. You know, it's, it's nothing, nothing's changed on that front at all. So that's always going to still be the same thing. So I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I can't really give no, no real good jewels out on this one. It's like, um, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking I should just probably work at a, uh, work on a, on, on a story, story film. Cause I, I started listening to some YouTube videos that, um, I kind of enjoy where it, where that's why if you read my ebook, the last one, everything is, is told like a story. It makes it easier to understand than just, yo, go here, do this, fill this out, fill that out. Cause you know, some people come across roadblocks like, well, what do we do? What, what, what do I do if this pops up and say, I never came across it or experienced it in my life? I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So if I tell it in a story form, it's like, okay, you had hit this roadblock and he thought, like, this is what I should do. And he tried this. This is where he tried, like, so I can get you in the frame of thought that you need to be in. That's pretty much it. So I get you in a frame of, a frame of thought. So it's like, um, like teaching you how to work out of, work out of a hole or work out of the situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, like, well, what would Bug do if this was him? I try to get you in that frame of mind. Like, this is what I would do if it was me. And that's how I answer the questions. Like, uh, they'd be like, well, uh, this popped up when I was filling out this. Um, what should I do? And I'll ask a few more questions, get some, get some more information. And then I'll be like, uh, I right, you tried this or what do you think about this? You think, well, give this a shot. Give it, you know, cause it's, it's a way of thinking out of a hole or thinking, thinking, thinking yourself out of a box when, when your back is against the wall or whatever. So it's kind of like that. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted this to pop out. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody had a good, safe holidays. Hope everybody's staying safe and and uh, COVID free. There, yeah, so you know, so we kind of pretty much stay away from everybody. But I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna get off here. But we still have ebooks. We still help. We still do the same thing we've been doing. We just don't make videos no more. We just people email us. We got ten emails. People email us. We handle our business in the background. We try to stay out of federal investigations and shit like that. So we try to stay out the way for the most part and just work behind the scenes. Like everybody knows what I look like. Everybody knows the information. Uh, it's no sense to keep regurgitating it over and over again. So we just, you know, the information that's online right now for like on our websites and on our, on our YouTube, YouTube channel is still very valid. You can still report trades through Corterra and all that other stuff. Everything is still very valid. Uh, if you just started a business, you still want it to be listed everywhere, or how would they even know who you are? So everything is still, certain stuff never goes away. It's still very valid. So um, people ask me all the time, the UCC stuff, still very valid. They be like, uh, is this still is this information still good? Yes, like that's why we break it down to the simplest common denominator because it's, it's 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 all good. It's all it never goes away. So that's the baseline, like the basis, like that's you know with the the tricks are in the details. The tricks come. You got to know the basics first, and the tricks come and are discovered way later. So yeah, all that stuff is very valid, valid, 
still current, still up to date, still everything. So, and I had some people ask me about UCC. Uh, same thing. UCC never changed. It's been there before people started talking about it, and then even after we stopped like highlighting it, it's still there as a as a method. Uh, look at my nephew right there. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, let me get off this thing. My nephew's walking up for me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. G-Book. <laughs>